Hello, good morning all of you. Welcome to the advanced level guidance webinar series organized by Mission Cordoba of Muslim Majlis of University of Sheja Adhanapur. As scheduled, today we will be having the session for the brothers and sisters who have completed the O-level examination this year. Before moving into the session, a kind reminder for the participants who join us via Zoom, please be kind enough to keep your mics muted to avoid any inconveniences. And at the end of the session, we will give you the chance to ask questions so you could unmute your mics and ask your doubts or else you can drop a message via chat box. And also, please refrain from drawing on screen while screen sharing is ongoing. This warm welcome is for MSF Akila Faisal, following the degree Bachelor of Science in Business Administration and undergraduate of University of Shijawadanpura to continue the advanced level commerce stream guidance program. Akila, over to you. Thank you. Uh, Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Hope my screen is visible and I am audible enough. Can someone confirm me? Yes, Akira, you are audible. I'm screen sharing. Okay. It. Okay, thank you. First of all, I would like to give a small introduction about myself. I'm Akila Faisal. I'm a second year undergraduate from the management faculty of University of Sri Jayavadanapura. And also currently I'm doing chartered accountancy and uh, I'm a merit and a subject prize winner of chartered exams. And I obtained island third in the chartered first stage. And along with that, I have obtained four subject prizes. Okay, that's a small introduction about myself. Let's move on into this session. At the very first place, I would like to make a kind request from all the participants. First thing, I would like to have an active participation for this session. Make sure everyone is actively participated because this is one of the greatest opportunity that is being provided by the Madhis of our university. So all of you all try to get the maximum use of this program. And also hope this would be a two-way communication rather than me only talking. Please make sure you all the participants interact with me. And the next thing is, please make sure to note down all the important points and the information which I would be sharing with you all today. And also make sure you get all your doubts clarified at the end of the session because uh, Rather than asking questions and doubts in the middle of the session, if you are asking me at the end, I can do this session in a smooth flow. Okay, let's move on to the session now. Now, you all of all the participants here, you all are right after your O levels. And you might be confused about which stream to select. It we all might be thinking whether to go with the comma stream, bio, is it max? Oh, I see. So, and you all are about to start your A-levels in next few months. So I am here today to give you all an introduction to the commerce stream. And today you all have the opportunity to evaluate whether you are going to select commerce stream for A-levels. Even when I was after A-levels, even when I was during that period, I was also like you all, confused about which stream to select because you all might be hearing different opinion of different people and you all might get confused. So, and also I did my A-levels in commerce stream and entered Jayavadhanapura University. Even I had eight days and one days. So many of them were requesting me to do bio max, but uh, I selected, but in, uh, eventually when I was selecting commerce stream, and I did my A-levels in the commerce stream and I got three A's. So the stream which I did for A-levels, it was selected based on my preference, even though I was listening to different, different opinion of many people. So today I will be sharing all the most important information and advices which you all can use to select the stream. And also, yeah, that, 
So you all can uh, use all those advices information rather than de depending on the false assumption which you all would have in the society from the people regarding some of this tree. Okay, then let's move forward. So when it comes to, there are two minimum requirements that I would like to share with you all. If you all want to become eligible to do A-levels, in the O-levels, you all had nine subjects. So out of that nine subject, for six subject, you all should have a pass. And also you all should have obtained a pass in the language. Depending on your school, you all would have done either Sinhala or Tamil. So for that as well, you should have obtained a pass. And the other thing is, and once you become eligible for A-level, and if you are planning to do commerce stream, so make sure you have done for O levels the commerce subject and also you should have obtained C pass for that subject commerce, which is commerce. And along with that, even for max also, you have to take a C pass. So once these two requirements, the first requirement which I have mentioned here is to become eligible to do A levels. And the second is, Second requirement is if you want to do A levels in commerce stream, you should have a C pass in max and commerce stream. Hope it's clear. Moving forward, now if I'm to explain the commerce stream subject, you know, when it comes to all the stream, it can be either max or bio, technology, arts, whatever the stream, you know that there are three main subjects. And along with that, you have to, at the final A-level exam, you have to sit for, for a general English paper and a common general test paper. So if I'm to explain about the general English paper, it is even though you have to sit for that exam, it is not a university entrance selection criteria. Whether to select, uh, you, are going, you are eligible to enter university or not, they are not going to see whether you have passed English or not. But then it's better if you sit for that exam because it might help you in the future when you are searching for a job. And also when it comes to common general tests, all the participants should keep in mind that there is a pass mark that you have to obtain if you want to become eligible to enter university. So I hope that pass mark is around 30 or 35. I hope it's 30 and uh, make sure you are get it clarified from someone, I hope it's 30. And also, so common general test, it's very compulsory. Once you don't get that pass mark, you will have to resit for that GK paper, that is the common general test, and you will have to apply for the university next time. So make sure you all have that in mind. And uh, if I'm to move on with the main subject of the commerce stream, the first one is the accountancy. So if you want to fall into the category of this commerce stream, if you want to be a commerce stream student, you all have to know that the accounting subject is mandatory. It is compulsorily, you have to do that. There is no any options to select that. So you should compulsorily do that, which is majority of the syllabus is uh, calculation based and there are some theoretical parts as well in the accountancy subject. And uh, this is one of the, out of the three main subject, accountancy is one. And the other two subjects, there is a list. So there are options. The other two subjects, you can select from the list which I have given here. So basically, uh, most of the students, they go with the choice, the accountancy, which is the compulsory one, and they, they select business studies and economics that is the more that is the most popular choice most of the students they select so even my personal opinion is it's better if you all can go with the accountancy business studies and economics because uh, when it comes to a degree they will mainly they will ask out of these two subjects, business studies and economics, they will ask whether you have done either one of them. So since it's compulsory to do a degree, it's better you all select one of these out of business studies and economics. Other than that, 
you all have business statistic ict geography german french history political science agricultural science so and also make sure even though i have given many options here based on your school it would differ in some school they don't offer french german those subjects are not offered so you should contact your school and ask what are the options that you can select for the other two subject along with the accountants accountants is compulsory and when it comes to business studies i don't think you have to do business study, statistics uh, for a levels but it's your freedom if you like you can select because the reason why i'm telling it's not required to do business statistics for a levels is after a levels once once you are doing professional qualification like chartered accountancy double at in those you will be learning about this business statistic so even i did for a levels accountancy business studies and economics in the professional qualification which i am doing now in the chartered accountancy i learned in depth and i in depth i learned about business statistics so it's not required i think to do for a levels but if you are interested in calculation areas you can go ahead with business statistics and when it comes to ict even that is not i don't encourage to do because it's better because it is one of the trending subject it will be in the future but it's better than selecting ict you all can do either one of business studies or economics because it you can gain that knowledge once you start working so from there you can gather that knowledge okay and then uh, i would like to say share some of the choices students make so one is they select either accountancy econ it or some of them they select accountancy business studies it or accountancy econ statistics or they might select accountancy business studies and statistics so these are some of the choices students make and also uh yeah and also finally i would like to repeat this again make sure you are select one one subject out of business studies and economics because it is important to do a major management degree like when you, when you come to jayawardena pur university for management faculty these are required so moving forward now i would like to ask you all a question so is this norm true now many of them say that commerce stream is quite easy they say when you select commerce stream you don't need to work hard you can easily pass with 3 years is that so i would like to get some responses from the participant can i know whether the participants are agreeing with this I don't see any responses. Okay, then let's move forward. So I would like to say this norm norm is not true at all because all the streams are equal, and for all the stream you have to work hard if you want to pass out with. flying colors because nothing you can't achieve easily just to clear this now everyone is saying that commerce stream is easy so i don't say that is true just to clear it i will tell you an example even when i was doing a levels i had around 30 students in my class in my school so out of that 30 students it's only me who got 3 as and entered jawadnagar pura university there were around 3 or 4 they got 2 a and b and they got eastern pinko campus and they went there but it's only me out of 30 students got on only 3 as and entered jawadnagar pura university so if people believe that commerce stream was easy i would say that all 30 students should have taken 3 as so even from that example you can understand it's not easy task for all the stream you have to work hard from the beginning and from the beginning itself you should have an a once you have a name only you will 
start working without an aim you will just spend this two and a half two and a half years journey so make sure if you all are selecting uh, commerce stream keep the aim in your mind that you all should get three years and enter javadnapur university getting three years is only not enough if you want to come to javadnapur university you should have a good z score even that matters and also i will tell you another advice now you have to do the, you have to cover this two and a half year syllabus they are going to test you for each and every subject within five hours so if for each and every main subject you will have five hours paper but you all the two and a half year syllabus is being covered within that five hours so i don't think that is not easy so only student who are well dedicated who are hard working from the beginning they will only pass out with three years and enter universities like javadnapur which is one of the best management faculty in the south asia and also when it comes to a levels it's very highly competitive many students are struggling they are working hard to get good universities to get three years so even by a small marks you can miss a university just a uh, slight difference in the the score it will affect you it will uh, make you to go to a, a university which is in the low ranking and also moving forward now i would like to give you an in depth understanding about the benefit and this uh, sorry benefit and the advantages you can gain by doing commerce stream for a levels now i have selected four advantages all those four advantages i will explain you all in detail so let's move forward when it comes to the first advantage i would say commerce stream it is a stream with the lowest risk what is a risk so when it comes to a risk risk means you are losing your time and money or you are not being able to achieve your goal that means uh, i will relate this to commerce stream now you are selecting commerce stream and you are planning to achieve three years and enter a good university so the risk here is you have selected but not you are, you are not achieving three years and achieving entering university so that would be the risk but even though in commerce stream you are not achieving three years and entering a good university there are many other alternatives so i would say the risk is very less when it comes to this stream and also okay now i'll show you three situation first one is now you are done with the a levels and qualify to enter a university in the commerce stream so if you are in, interested those students can enter now in case you are done with a levels but not qualify to en enter university for example you have taken 3 bs 2a 2 bs so in that case also you have an opportunity to go ahead with your higher studies when it comes to commerce stream it doesn't mean if you don't take a 3 years and enter university you don't have you don't have any studies to carry on after that no in commerce stream you have many alternatives so when it comes to these alternatives you can go to a private university if you have the financial capacity or as there are professional qualification like when i will explain those in detail in the coming slides and in case if you have failed i don't encourage anyone i don't encourage none of the participant here to fail a levels i hope that you all would pass a levels with flying colors like the years and all so if you have failed in case you can attempt it again or is based on your all ever result only if you have done all ever so using that result you have many opportunities like with the o level result you can start double at and you of once you become a double at fast finalist you can start doing chartered where you can get exemptions like first stage is ex i will explain those in detail in the coming slides um and the next advantage is having highest 
alternatives. In this stream, you have large number of alternatives. Like you have professional qualification like CA, CIMA, AA team. And there are some other PQHR and SLIM. Likewise, there are some other professional, these are some other professional qualifications. And you can attend the government university based on your results, or you can go ahead with your own business because in the commerce, it will provide all the theoretical knowledge which you need to start a business. So these are some of the alternatives. And going forward, the third benefit is you have different types of degrees are there when it comes to commerce street. You have management degree, public management, estate management and evaluation, BIS, which is business information system, commerce. So these are some of the degrees which you have in the commerce stream. So if I'm to explain briefly about each and every degree, management degree, uh, it is a four-year degree. And also once you go to the management faculty of the Vandalapur University, in the first year you will have a you will have all the students common subject and from the third year you will be separated into department likewise it goes on and when it comes to public management they are you will be taught about managerial skills and you have to do some field work both in public and private sector and you have to do some practical training when it comes to public management it, when it comes to estate management, you will gain some knowledge on valuation, real estate development management, land and uh, urban economics, real estate marketing, real estate finance. You, about those, you will learn in that degree. When it comes to BIS, which is business information system, they will teach you how to apply the IT in business. That's how, that is what taught in that degree. And also, you are given an overview about the management and information technology. And once you are done with this degree, you can obtain a job in management focusing on information system. So these are some of the advantages once you go with that degree. And the final one is the commerce, which is the BCom. Uh, it will provide students with, it will give you both theoretical and practical knowledge about the current and future global trend. And there are some research internship yeah, it is there in the final year. And uh, once you are done with a commerce degree, which is BCom, you can gain local and international job opportunities as well. And uh, and the third advantage is, sorry, the fourth one, You can start your own business. Yeah, you can start your own business. Now, commerce is one of the one of the mandatory stream which, which will help you to start a business because you will have a wide range of knowledge once you are done with commerce stream for A level. Now, I have seen many people who haven't done A-levels in commerce. So, but when they start a business, what happens is they fail in running that business successfully. Because it's because they don't have a background knowledge about business where you, can, you could have easily obtained if you have done commerce for A-levels. So, for that purpose, now once they are not having a knowledge about a background knowledge about this common stream, what do they have to do? They have to hire a person for their business who knows this commerce background. And also I would like to say like 80% of the top position in a company, in a very reputable company, and in almost all the companies, all those people, the people who are in the top position, they are from the commerce field only. And also uh, even there are some people who haven't done commerce for A-levels, but what they do is like they do professional qualification, like chartered, double AT, CMA, they do those and they move up in this commerce field, even though they haven't done commerce for A-levels. So in the when you take a company, all the people who manage and control the business, they are from the commerce field. 
so i think this is one of the mandatory stream which you should have if you are planning i hope there might be some boys who are planning to do business in future so and within bracket i have given some of the uh, concepts that is management cost management marketing economics so these all this knowledge you can obtain from the three subjects which you are going to do for the three main subject which you are going to do for the a levels like when it comes to management the first one i'm referring to one the one which is within the brackets that is management when it comes to that you should know to manage everything if you are not aware about it everything will fail so and if even if a principal school principal should know how to manage a school even your parents at home should know how to manage their children so this management about management you can learn from this a level commerce now when it comes to business studies if you are selecting business studies you can learn about management like you will learn about it our human resource management financial management marketing management in business studies you can learn that then when it comes to cost management cost management you can learn from accounting there is a part that is allocated for cost management even after a levels if you are doing professional qualification in charter you can learn charter 880 you can learn cost management i mean like uh, how to manage the cost how to reduce the cost so once you reduce this cost of a business and all you will be able to increase your business profit so those stuff you will learn from accounting or even after your higher studies you can learn when when it comes to marketing so just uh, imagine as a company you are producing the the world best product in the world but people are not aware about that at all so do you think you can make sales and earn profit not so so what do you have to do you should know marketing so mainly you will learn even in business studies there is a uh, lesson allocated for marketing but even in professional qualification you can learn this marketing then economics now why you need economics knowledge now especially in a country like sri lanka at present all of us should have a knowledge on how economics economics is economic variables is affecting our life as well as how it is going to affect our business for example if the interest rate is increasing in our country in the financial institution if they are increasing the interest rate you should know how this is going to impact my business so all this knowledge you will gain from the economics subject you can learn it from that then financial management financial management means you might have money in your business but you might not know how to manage it so even in business studies there is a lesson allocated for this you can learn from that how to invest how to find money for the business so there are many decisions you have to take in the business so all this you can learn and accounting obviously even if you are hiring a person in your business to do this accounting work to record the financial uh, transactions you should know even to understand even if you hire a person you should know whatever that person is saying even to understand that you should have a background knowledge and when it comes to banking and money knowledge you will get even from economics and business studies because uh, you are being taught about different type of checks and uh, some of the how to deal with the banking and money in economics you can learn about this money creation and all. i hope you all don't understand these things now but i'm just giving an idea that from each and every subject all these the yeah, concepts you can learn which will be helpful if you are planning to start a uh, I, i would like to share this this is taken from the ugc website university grant commission website i have taken this this is this is based on the very recent uh, a level batch that is 2018 20 university for all the a level batches because uh, it might differ 
based on the student's performance, the Z score might differ for each year. But this is for the 2020, just to give you all an idea, I have shown. Like if you all want to come to Jayavadhanapur University, you all can see that you should have, for the 25 district I have shown, uh, you all should take around 1.7 Z score. I think there's a like, small difference for Colombo and And you all have Javadhanapur University, you all should definitely take three years with a good set score. And also, human faculty. It would be first Javadhanapur, then the Kalambu, then Kalani, Peradaniya. It goes on like that. So this is just a small, uh, this thing I have taken from the UGC website. Uh, and moving forward, I would uh, like to explain some of the professional qualification that you all can uh, do if you all are selecting commerce stream. Even if you don't do well in a level, a good position with a good salary, once you all are done with professional qualification. So they are like chartered uh, ACCA, CMA. CMA, AAT, and the others. It's PQHRM. Professional PQHRM is the professional qualification is in human resource management. When it comes to charter, it is one of the best professional qualification in the commerce field. It is recognized both globally and as well as this is Sri Lankan qualifications for its stages. And once you are done with the four stages, you have, you will be qualified as a chartered accountant. And uh, the main route for this chart to do a chartered accountant is the better way is once you are done with the O level, with the double AT, with the A levels. With the A levels, do both double AT and A levels. So once you are done, so after A levels, you can start chartered because if you are a double AT past finalist, chartered first stage and in the second stage, two subjects are exempted. That means you don't need to do that. That is exemption. And also, so that is the main route, many of them. So if even so, if you want to get qualified in an early age, so that is one of the routes. With the A-levels itself, you have to do double AT. Then once you are done with the A-levels, you will be also a first double AT finalist. Then after A-levels, you can start doing charter from the second stage onwards. So only three, two, uh, sorry, three stages are remaining in the charter to do. So you can become a qualified chartered accountant at the earlier stage itself. And uh, ACCA, this is one of the Second most demanded professional qualification, this is recognized globally. And also even when it comes to, if you see, compare the chartered and ACCA, both they look at different diversified areas. It doesn't mean they look at, both look at into one specific area, which is accountancy, not so. Like they look at into different, different, they will teach you different, different wide areas. And double AT, okay, sorry. Then when next one is the CIMA. CIMA, it is a management related professional qualification. Mm -hmm. And CMA, CMA and CIMA is a bit similar because both of them belong to this management related. CMA is a Sri Lankan qualification. It is less demanded and it is also uh, easy, much easy to pass out from that. And double AT, now you all are after O levels here. Yeah, until you start A levels, you all can start doing that. And also, uh, if you all are done with the, uh, oh, or even after A levels, you can do. If you all are doing it after A levels, if you have done A levels in common stream, you will get four subject exemption for double AT if you are doing it after A levels. And also, but the best way is now you all are after all levels, so start doing now itself if you are interested. 
And the other thing is like others, when it comes to others category, you have this limit, the marketing related uh, professional qualification. And uh, for HR also, there is one called PQHRM. So these are some of the professional qualification. And in case if you all want to obtain, a, uh, if you all want to know in detail than what I explained now, you all can contact me or is you can visit their website. You know, in their website, everything is, you all can uh, access the India website, you all can access the frequently asked question, that part. And you all can clarify all your doubts if you all are interested in doing this before A-levels or even after A-levels. Or even I can help me to give a mo more understanding about this. And uh, moving forward, I would like to share some of the job opportunities that you all can have after doing commerce stream. So people say like when you do A levels in commerce stream, you can only become an accountant. Not so. You have so many other job opportunities like auditor, finance manager, financial advisor, and others, uh, and business analyst and human resource management. And one of the topmost position in the organization, which is CEO. Even you can become a CEO once you climb high up in the corporate ladder. So if I am to say about an accountant, what is an accountant's role? Accountant is the one who is responsible. He has to prepare some financial uh, statements and uh, he has to make sure they are following all the accounting rules and regulation in the organization. And when it comes to auditor, even after doing chartered, you can become an auditor. Auditor, he has to make sure that accountant is following all the accounting rules and regulation in his organization. Then you have this uh, finance manager, HR manager. These are some uh, functions which you have in a company. So for that, each and every functions, these are the managers who are responsible. Finance manager, he has to uh, find money, fund for the organization and he has to invest. He has to utilize it effectively by investing in a good opportunity. And when it comes to human resource manager, he has to deal with all the employee related matters. So that is the task of this like hiring, paying salaries, so some of those are some of the tasks of human resource management. Then when it comes to business analysis, this is one of the a trending one, which is in the trend, uh, business analyst. He has to analyze all the business product services, and he has to give some advice about how to improve those in the organization. And uh, financial advisor, he will give some financial services to the organization and if you want to become that you will have to do complete a training and you have to register with the regulatory body if you want to become a financial advisor so there are some requirements to be fulfilled before you become a financial advisor then ceo this is one of the topmost position in an organization so once you are done with a levels you can complete a degree and in addition to that for a value addition, you can do a professional qualification. So with all these, so once you have the experience, you can become a CEO. So moving forward, I would like to share some of the mistakes the students do, many, many students. First one is I would like to share some of them. Now, this is not relevant for commerce stream. This is just a general idea I'm giving when you are trying to select the A level stream. Uh, first one is you are not selecting the stream which you like and you can do. The first thing you should keep in mind is you should not select the stream since others are requesting because this is your future. So, first, you should have the preference. If you are selecting a stream, you should have a preference towards that stream. And the other thing is, it doesn't mean if you have the preference or if you like it, you can't go ahead with that. 
you should have the ability to do now even i like to do even i had that preference i should go with the bio stream for your level but i am not interested in physics and all because it's bit cal calculation so i was not interested so since uh, i was not interested i didn't go with that so you should keep in mind you should uh, consider both if you are selecting a stream you should have the preference you should like it and as well at the same time you should be able to do that as well so both should be fulfilled if you are okay with both you can go select that stream and do your a levels and the next one is the next common mistake the students do is that they assume that bio stream is the best stream and the art stream, art stream is the last stream it's not at all it's a false assumption that we have among the students and in the society that we think the bio is the best because uh, even there are people from max stream right if you do if you are done with the max stream you can become an engineer if you take three years and with a good let's go but even there are people like from the commerce stream they are earning very less from the people who have done art stream and also even chartered accountants if you are a chartered accountant you can earn more so it doesn't mean that bio i am not putting down other stream there's a main i'm just saying that these are some of the common mistake the people the students are assuming and uh, so it doesn't depend on the stream there is no ranking for the stream all the streams are equal whether you pass out successfully or not it depend on your skill not the stream and also so please as i request all the participant here not to select the stream based on these these assumptions some people that say that if you take nine as eight as you have to go with the bio stream not so even the people there are some students those who take nine as they select commerce stream and they do their o levels and they they are in the good position now and the third one is the third common mistake is selecting the streams your parents like some of the students they do, do this so once you select based on your parents preference so some parents they want you to become a doctor lawyer so that is their aim so what do even students do they select that But that student might not be interested. So, what is the outcome if you select a stream which you don't like? Is uh, you want me working hard because you don't have the interest. You might be not having an A since you are not interested. So that will not give you a good output if you select based on that. So. so i would say this is your future so it's in your hand to select the stream you like and you have the ability to do and the other one is selecting a level stream based on o level results some of the students they are selecting some if you all take 9 as you all go with the bio max uh, if you get uh, five as you select commerce stream if you get two as you do art stream is that so no not at all you shouldn't do like that because i have seen students there are some students they are taking nine as for all levels but they might fail in the a level and there are students with no a passes in all levels but for a levels they are well dedicated they work hard and they take three as with a good z score and even they take good island rank as well so it doesn't mean that you should select your a level stream based on your o level results so everything depends on not your results only not your o level results everything depends on how you work hard and how you put effort during your a levels doesn't matter whatever you achieve for o level results i hope it's clear and the next one is they say that uh, this is one of the main mistake 
if they say you if you have a password science you should select bio if you have a for commerce you should select commerce free no we shouldn't take uh, decisions based on these things because sometimes you might have a b pass for max but you might get three years in a levels and people who do uh, o level who have done uh, o level commerce with a simple pass like ss or c they might uh, get three years in a levels with a good rank and all island rank and all so that is some of the uh, mistakes that students do after all levels when they are planning to select the a level stream so i have uh, selected around five to explain it to you all so that is all about what i have planned to share with you all uh, so i hope uh, i have explained all the important points which you should consider before you select commerce stream whatever i shared today you all can use it to evaluate whether you are going to select the commerce stream or not so you are going to select your future so up to o levels you have just gotten basic education but a level is going to impact your life because once you do your studies well only you all can plan for a good future so if you are selecting commerce stream now by itself have in mind you should somehow try to come to i'm not uh, saying i'm not promoting my university but i'm saying that once you come to jayawardenapur university this is one of the best management faculty in south asia so it's a privilege if you all get that that is the reason i'm saying to have that in mind if you all are planning to select commerce stream and also so since you all are going to select your future this a level might impact your level uh, your future uh, so take the correct decision even you can look at some of the example you can get some experiences from your seniors who have done and based on their experiences and you can get some advices and you can select your a level stream then only you can have a successful future so this is your future so whatever the decision you make make sure you evaluate it well and you take it take that decision so if you have the confidence if you like if you prefer it and if you have the ability you can go ahead with that stream so finally i would ask you all to make sure to take the best decision when selecting the a level stream so now i would like to give you all some time to clarify the doubts if you all have so if you have any doubts you can unmute and talk to me or else you can drop a message in the chat box so it's your time to clarify your doubts does anyone have any doubts or anything to clarify if you all have anything to ask about the professional qualification i can clarify it or you can contact me personally okay there is a okay there is a question can you become a ceo through general management okay the first question is uh, can can anyone become a ceo through general management general management i hope you are referring uh, i showed you some of the degrees like around 5 out of that i hope you are referring to the first one the common management so that is uh, i don't say that only by doing a degree you can become a ceo it's possible if you have good experiences for about 10 12 years more than that even 
but the better way is along with the degree you should have a professional qualification also professional qualification is a value addition so it's better you can do both and you should all of a sudden you can't become a ceo you should have for ex experiences for many years so i would say even by doing that management degree with a professional qualification and by getting the experiences one day you can become a ceo next question is uh, can we become a law if we do accounting as an econ yeah now in uh, when it comes to the degrees which you have in the common stream that now which i showed you the one uh, the management public management estate valuation those are some of the specific degrees which are relevant to the common stream along with that there are some common degrees even if you do a levels in common stream there are some common degrees which you can do like ict entrepreneurship uh, this law now even in common stream if you take a good z score with 3 years you can go to colombo law uh, faculty given that is possible um and also the advantage some one is asking me about the advantages of double at double at uh, it is one of the route uh, to enter this professional qualification even after o levels you all can start doing double at uh, so with the a levels itself you will become a once you are done with the a levels at the same time if you do parallelly double at you can become a double at pass finalist and then uh, you can start doing charter so this that is one of the route uh, which you can use if you want to become qualified at an earlier age early age and uh, so those are some of the advantages of double at mm. what is the benefit of selecting commerce stream i have explained you four advantages the benefit uh, in detail i hope uh, you got that from when i was explaining is how many years does it take to become a ca chartered accountant if you want to become uh, the most preferred they prefer that you should become a once you start doing you should become you should somehow try to become a chartered accountant within 5 years but i have seen some example that students are becoming chartered accountant within 3 years itself so the main route is do double at and get the exemption for chartered the first stage is once you are done with double at the first stage is exempted so from second stage itself you can start charter so that is the possible way if you want to become a chartered accountant quickly will it be a good idea to follow a degree course and skip a levels it's better if you all do if you all don't skip this a level because uh, it will give you the background knowledge than doing a, a degree directly even in degree uh, whatever you learn in a levels they will Uh, they will teach you in depth of this a level syllabus no, for some subject so it's better if you do a levels and you start doing a degree and um, someone is asking the number if so i'll i'll drop it in the chat box and uh, you all have asked me whether uh, is it good to do law with commerce um, commerce and law even when it comes to law there are some law that is relevant to commerce stream and all commerce stream like business law corporate law so it goes matching so so if you are much interested uh, when it comes to law you will have to go through so many case studies and all so if you are interested in law you can you can do uh, law even after completing your a levels in a commerce stream i say that would be a good choice as well um i am not doing classes for double at someone is asking whether i am doing i am not and uh, is there any questions any more and uh, is commerce easy 
I would say commerce, I don't say that commerce is easy. I would say when you select commerce tech, the risk is very less because I explain you that there are many alternatives even if you don't uh, pass out with a good grade. So it doesn't mean when you don't take three years, your, your, uh, your everything is finished after that. It doesn't mean you have so many other alternatives. Um, what are the subject can be selected double AT? You can't, there are no any optional subject in double AT. It is uh, decided by the double AT Institute. So you have to do that. You can go through their website or if you want, even I can share the subject which you have to do once you select double AT. There are no any optional subjects. All these subjects are compulsory. And there's another question for general management and marketing. CIMA is more valid. CIMA is uh, related to the management side. Managerial, those side and uh, marketing management. Management, it's a common one. I don't get this question for general management marketing. CIMA is more valid. Can you be more specific? It's not clear. Yeah, it's like this. Now, most of you all have that doubt. Now, once you become an accountant, you might not have a job in future because the most of them are being automated. Now it is computerized. That is not the case because uh, you all have to understand even everything is done by a computer. Computer cannot do all the things when it comes to interpretation. When you want to understand something, there should be a human resource to do that. So don't have this now, I know. Some of them are having this false assumption like an accountant don't have a job because everything is done by a computer. Not so. Because even to whatever the report or whatever the report that is generated, what is the document? There should be a person to understand and interpret. So that's, that's it. The people who are doing this uh, commerce stream and doing professional qualification, they have these uh, different courses to do business analysis. That course is also people follow now. Um, now, when it comes to general management is for SIMA, right? Yeah, SIMA is related to management here. Yeah. Then does marketing come under management? Oh, it's a, yeah, even in management, you can learn about uh, marketing, but it is not, you can't learn an in-depth understanding. If you want to learn fully about this marketing, you should, it's better you can do a degree or you can uh, do a professional qualification like in the SLIM, Sri, Lon, uh, Sri Lanka Institute of Marketing, there you can register and do a marketing degree. But when it comes to general management, uh, you will have a, just a small particular subject, a small uh, part is allocated for marketing. You, they will not teach you in depth. And someone is asking for the recording. I hope it will be uploaded to the YouTube. Uh, am I correct? Because someone is asking for the recording. Saying that uh, she couldn't join on time. Yes, it will be uploaded in Madlis. Ah, okay. In the Madlis uh, YouTube channel, it will be uploaded in some days. You can uh, watch it. Any other questions? I hope you all don't have any more questions. So I would like, so let's end this session. Uh, I wish all the participants here all the very best. Hope everyone will get through your A-level examination with flying colors. Hope you all will get three years and with a good Z score. So good luck, everyone. Jazakallah khair. Thank you all. We hope the session was indeed so productive and you have clarified all your doubts. More education webinars and motivational sessions will happen in future, which will surely support you in various ways. You can access on our YouTube channel if you missed previous webinars. And please feel free to contact us if you want to leave any suggestion or comments based on these sessions. Stay connected with us for more updates. Once again, thank you very much for joining us and keep working hard to reach your goals. 
Muslim Majlis of University of Sheikh Jawadan Pura genuinely wish all of you for a successful future. Stay safe and have a good day. Thank you. Thank you.